with so many large embers that was falling on our downtown uh, district. And we did actually have a small roof fire in one of the businesses up there. We were able to get it put out right away. Unbelievable pictures. A major fire in downtown Kendallville closed streets and had officials asking people to avoid the area as burning embers rained from the sky this morning. Good afternoon. Thanks for joining us. I'm Pat Hoffman. Alyssa will join us a little later in the show. We first brought you live coverage on First News at 5 a.m. The first fire crews responded to the old McRae refrigeration building around 2.30 this morning. The Kendallville Fire Department called for assistance from 12 other departments. At 10 o'clock this morning, city officials held a press conference. News Channel 15's Chris Darby was there. He joins us live from Kendallville. What's the latest, Chris? Crews are still here high above the building putting out hot spots and they probably will be for several more hours today. I talked with the fire chief and the mayor just a couple of hours ago. They tell me the call came in around 2.30 this morning and the first firefighters that got here on scene immediately called for backup because the flames were so intense. The glow seen miles away. 13 departments responded coming as far away from as Fremont and Angola. Crews sprayed water on surrounding buildings as the floating embers looked like it was raining fire. In fact, uh, one small fire on a building was also put out. The building itself was being gutted, but nobody was inside at the time. A whole new set of challenges is going to make it a very costly endeavor. Uh, we had been working with reclaim companies from across the country that were going to come in and reclaim the lumber and the bricks, and now that won't be a possibility with this. The mayor tells me it's now going to be a costly cleanup here. As far as a cause, we know the utilities were shut off. No electricity or gas was getting into the building. No lightning happening overnight either. We'll continue our coverage out here in Kendallville. We'll have team coverage coming up at 5 o'clock. For now, live in downtown Kendallville, Chris Darby, News Channel 15. All right, Chris, thanks for that continuing coverage.